Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this quick text animation in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And if you want to learn how to make huge simulations in Blender, make sure to check out my massive simulations course, available now at the Blender Market, link in the description. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, then go to Add, and add the text. And then we can go into edit mode and change the text. And then press the backspace key and you can type in wherever you want. I'm just going to type in Olav 3D, which is my channel name. And then let's go back to object mode. If you want to use a different font, you can go to the text settings and then font and click on the folder icon. And as you can see, we have many different options. For this tutorial, I'm only going to use the default font. So let's add some thickness to the text to make it uh, three-dimensional. So add modifier and add the solidify modifier. And then we can increase the thickness. And then we need to convert the text into a mesh. So go to object and then convert to and then mesh from text. And then before we separate the letters, we need to add the physics. So let's add rigid body physics and set the collision type to mesh. And uh, let's also increase the friction, set the sensitivity to zero, and then set the uh, damping translation and rotation to uh, 0.5 and 0.6 to increase the amount of velocity lost over time, which will limit the movement of the text. And uh, then we need to go into edit mode and separate the uh, letters. So press A to select everything, and then press P and separate by loose parts. And then we need to go back to object mode and set the origin point to the individual letters. Okay, and then let's add the floor. So go to add, mesh, and add a plane. And press G to grab, and then press S to scale. And then we need to go into edit mode and make the floor a little bit thicker. And by making it thicker, we we'll make it more solid in the physics simulation. So let's go back to object mode, and then add rigid body physics, passive rigid body type, and set the shape to mesh. And we can also increase the friction and set the margin to zero. Now, if you play the animation, you will see that the text goes uh, straight through the floor. And that is because the simulation is not yet accurate enough because we have low values for the rigid body world settings. So we need to go into the rigid body world settings and increase the number of steps per second, as well as the solver iterations. So set it to 330, and play it from the beginning, and as you can see, it works. You can also increase the height that the text falls down from by going to the first frame, and then selecting the floor, and then press G, then set to grab the floor on the set axis. Okay, and then let's uh, set up the camera. So press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. And then press N and lock the camera to view. And then I'm going to set it closer to the uh, letters. So around here. You can also press R to rotate the camera and hold in shift to select all of the letters and if you want to you can change the uh, location on the set axis like this okay so now we have the whole animation set up and before we continue let's uh, save so go to file and then save as 
and then give the uh, file a name and you can save it where we want on the computer and uh, then let's set up the lighting so select the light change it into a sun and then we can set the strength to 3 which uh, should be enough and uh, then you can press R to rotate the sun and for this render I'm going to use the cycles engine and set the number of samples to 200 both for the render and the viewport to increase the quality of the render and then we can go into rendered view and as you can see we need to add materials so uh, let's go back to solid view and select the floor and then let's add a new material and let's use the glossy shader and uh, then go back to rendered view and I'm going to decrease the roughness so I'll set it to uh, 0.175 for example and uh, then I will set the color to a uh, dark black color so something like this and then we also need to make the background color completely white and if you want to see what the final render will look like you can hide the overlay and I think I'm going to change the roughness of the floor slightly so something like this just play around with the different values and see what you like and then I'm going to select the letters and add a new material so let's select the O first add a new material and then I'm going to increase the metallic value set it to 1 and then I'm going to make the letter blue you can obviously add whatever color you want and then I'm just going to add the same color to the rest of the letters so use the same material V and the 3 and the D. Press number at 0 to uh, look through the camera. And this looks nice. So uh, let's set up the render. So uh, go to the render settings. Now, if you have a GPU, you should use it for the render. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU instead. It's just going to be a bit slower to render. So let's set the device to a GPU. And then let's go down to performance. And if you have a GPU, set the tile size to 512. If you only have a CPU, just leave it at 64. Okay, and then let's go to the output settings. And I'm going to set the end frame to 150, which should be enough, and set the frame rate to 30 FPS. And I'm going to use AVI JPEG for the file format, which is a video format. And uh, then I'm going to save it somewhere on my computer. You can save it wherever you want on the computer. Give the animation a name and then press enter to save the name. If you want to, you can also bake the simulation again with even higher settings to increase the accuracy of the simulation. So you can go to cache, and then we only need 150 frames. And uh, let's bake it at uh, 550 for the steps per second and uh, solver iterations. That should be enough. And then click bake to bake once again. Okay. And uh, this looks nice. So now we can render the simulation. So go to render and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn how to make even more complex physics simulations, make sure to check out my massive simulations course available at the Blender Market, and use the code OLAV3D to get a 10% discount.